I mean, I guess I can't be too upset at our record. We were worse than this two seasons ago on 77 Ego. So, we're just going to have to battle back. We just have to play better. Get good, as I used to tell my nephews. I don't know about that, Zenus. All right. We'll have to check on our injuries, but... <laughs> Maybe you don't get this, but still good. Thanks. I, that That's realism. That's what I like. All right. The Atlantic Drakes are five and six. We're going up against the extreme defensive experts, so they do have some contact. They're like us, not a lot of power. The Hollywood Herbivores are six and five. We need this game to get back to 500. We've got our new acquisition use of Stark. Get a good first couple of outings. 1 and 0, 573 ERA. Olaf Slokov looks like he got really beat up his last time out. 15.88 ERA, and he is tense. Um. We get a DH today. Let's see. I may do what I did last game. And just roll with those top three, Feline, Striker, and Sky. Travis is hitting really well. I might put him fourth. Molo. I think Mongoose down here is our DH. And we can always bring Petrie Thornton back in to play right field if needed. But I'll leave Sir Studs in there for the speed right now. Because Sevens is still going to be out two or three more games, it looks like. So that's a, that's a rough injury she's got. So, yeah. All right. Let's go with this lineup then. We are on the road. We're going to Hollywood. We're playing in the Swagger Center. So all of those liberal elites are going to be out in the crowd booing us because we're in Cuba. Why no shiny head cam? I just, I, I, I just like to relax when I play Super Mega Baseball. Definitely going into the, the den here in Hollywood. Lethal D Feline, the goddess of swing, will lead off Thez, Stryker, and Sky Rod Regis. Now batting the first baseman, number Lethal D Feline batting 267. Let's see if we can get jump on Olaf Slokov here. First pitch is a high strike. Looks like they're playing on a softball field almost. That's a hard hit ball. Milo Stewart, the throw is in time. One away. That will bring up the ever dangerous Z. Five home runs on the season. He's tied for third in the home run race early on. That ball's hit hard down the line, though. That's going to be fouled. One and one. Oh, he missed that one. And that is popped straight up, and that will be out number two. Uh, Bears, yes, I, I I grew up playing baseball. That was like the one sport I was really good at. Probably could have done something with it, but I didn't. Um, but as for like being a fan of a team right now, no. Um, I was just telling Chad earlier that my favorite player growing up was Barry Bonds, and I was a real big like Pirates fan and then a Giants fan, obviously. Then we see how that ended up. And then... Honestly, I didn't follow it much once I got into college. 
and I've never really jumped on like most people in Kentucky root for the Reds um, just because of proximity, because it's easy for us to get on the interstate and go north to a game. Uh, there's a lot of Cubs fans here as well. So mostly that is it still the central division? That That's where a lot of your fans come from. And then the, obviously you have all your annoying Yankees fans. Oh, Sky went down and got that one, but I don't know if it's going to drop. It will, right in the Carlito Appleseeds glove. Quick one, two, three inning here to start out on the road. I do. I, I, I have a number of hats. I've got a Reds hat. I've got a St. Louis Cardinals hat. I've got a Blue Jays hat. Um, I've got a couple other ones. Sometimes I buy them when I go on the road. Because when I was a little kid, I collected baseball caps. I used to have almost every team. But, um, like, as an adult, my head's, like, super big now. Um, Uh-oh. Nobody's on the base. Uh, I, I buy them when I go on road trips for work. But I've not been on a trip for a while. Like, uh, I bought the St. Louis hat at... Their, their field when I went and watched the game when I was there for business and the Reds obviously it's easy to get a Reds cap here Ooh, nice play Yusuf I used to get a lot from when I played in like those little city Optimus leagues and you would get assigned a team which is funny and I think that's why I bought the Blue Jays hat is because one of the teams I got on like every year I was always on the Blue Jays Good pitch. Um, I was on the Blue Jays and the Dodgers a lot. It just seemed like that's always the, the coach that picked me when they did uh, league drafts. Like, and it was where it was like the Optimus League. You would always have something like the one year that I was the Dodgers, they would have like the local, the local businesses or chains would represent the team. So, like, I was the service master Dodgers one year. And then another year, I was the 7-Up Blue Jays. And and I kind of miss that because that was so, like, you had unique teams back then. It was really cool. All right, Travis the Unknown. Travis, big bomb there, but hit right to the right fielder, Juan Rojas. You know, one thing I didn't check, and I feel bad for it. Is there any of the you all on this team on Hollywood? No, it does not look like it. Maybe I did check. I, I will say, Bears, I enjoy watching baseball in person way more than I do on TV. Unless it's the playoffs, it's really hard for me to watch it. Like at work, I'll bring it up and... Oh, that's a good hit by Molo. Did Molo get enough of it? No, Appleseed runs it out. Yeah, background noise normally at work, but where we've not been at work, I'm always, you know, wow or something else. All right, two outs here, top of the second. We'll see if the goose can get loose here. Hold on, swinging at that. Get through. Oh, Milo Stewart again. Jason outran that one. Good hustle play. That puts one on for least expected. He's batting 3-11, four RBIs this season. He is tense. Rough outing last game. One low, ball one. Hard hit ball, but right at Stewart again. And Milo Stewart for the Herbazores has been the defensive god today. We'll go to the bottom of the second. Ralph Blue, Asa Word, and Annabella Stokes do up here for the Herbazores. I don't know. There's one of my coworkers. He's a diehard like Reds fan. And he will sit there and tell you stats from like back when he was in college. And it's kind of creepy sometimes. 
He does that with base or basketball too, but like he will he listens to it like every day, like every day and every night. He'll come in and he'll like recap the entire game. All right, word 317 average. Runner on first. Got to be careful here. Bad pitch. Hmm. Get that at least. There we go. I threw it at the wrong base, but it wouldn't matter. Well, Albert Azuko, I look at it this way. It's kind of like, I'll pause this to say this. It's kind of like Pokemon. I had students, and I would always bring that up as well. And I'd be like, how come you all don't learn these when you've had like six weeks to learn them? Well, I, I, I don't know. It's hard. Okay, tell me what number 62 on Pokemon is. And they could tell me or whatever I would throw out at the time. And I'm like, you got to go back. It's what you like and what you enjoy. I used to could tell you, I used to collect baseball cards. I had all the teams laid out. I would, I would lay them out on the floor by team, you know, and it's just, you familiarize yourself with it. And, and that's the difference. Oh, come on. I hate that this game does that as a trick. We're going to steal and make your guy go out of position so it's an automatic hit that's so cheap all right here's milo stewart i should just pop him in the face Hmm. I thought might have got that call. Good joke. There we go. Good defensive stand. Use of Stark holds them. Strand two. We go to the third inning. Still zero zero. They need to turn a light on in their bullpen. I feel sorry for these guys. They must not even feel like they're part of the game. I mean, there's a light, but it needs some bulb replacement. Here is Sir Studs. Watch him wiggle. Off slock off, trying to work on that 11 7 4 ERA. And oh man, Sir Studs puts that one into the gap. If it gets by, this could be dangerous. And they're going to just stand and look at it. Rocket's going to throw it in. We're sending Sir Studs to third. He is in there for a leadoff triple here in the top of the third inning. That will bring up Mr. Dependable. That was an awkward strike called there. That's going to make it 0-2 on the count. Come on, we need a hit here. we got to get Sir Studs in. Oh, I fouled back. I don't see how it had that kind of spin on it. I had to bring up Lethal. Let's see if the goddess of swing. That actually may work. Maybe. I think Sir Studs is fast. No, come on. He didn't even have that strong of an arm. Oh. I don't know if I believe that. Sir Studs is so fast. I think he was in there. Ooh, that was a good pitch. That's a terrible pitch. Uh, I hope she missed some of it. Z got that one. Whew. I played Oregon Trail with my high school students when we did Western Expansion. Just so they would understand how hard it was to, to get across without anything happening to people. And always they'd always elect the popular kids to be the, the wagon leader. And those kids uh, don't always have the highest cognitive ability. And uh, it was amazing the decisions they'd make along the trail. Now back, the left 
Hunter. Hmm. Get him. Oh, come on up. Oh, come on, computer. That was totally a strike him out, throw him out. But no, you're saying he's safe? We were placed in groups, and a person from each group would throw a ball or something similar into a bucket. If they missed, one of us could track. Oh, my God. That's gonna that's gonna bring in a run. What? Come! On, I cannot get a call. I cannot get a call in this game. One nothing now. Hollywood breaks the uh, scoreless game. I honestly Outside. not believe this. Actually, I can. It's 80 ego. <laughs> we go to the fourth inning. one nothing now after Hollywood tacks that one on. We got the meat of the lineup due up Z, Sky, and Travis. I think they do have it out for me. That's a hard hit ball. That's only going to be a single, though. All right, leadoff hit by Z. Let's see what Sky can do to follow it up. The third baseman, Sky Rodriguez. He is thicker than a bowl of oatmeal, and I love it. Do an O to her. Oh, that's a double play, and that is not what we needed there. Oh, that's unfortunate. That will bring up Travis the Unknown. It's a little blue pit. That will extend the top of the fourth. Let's see if Molo can do something here. She's batting over 300. Big hit there, but I think she just got a little too much air underneath it. And that will fall in the gloves of Juan Rojas, and that will retire the side. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Hollywood comes up trying to add to their lead. one nothing game thus far. Word, Stokes, and Rojas. Have we ever caught? We caught one person at home once. I think we threw them out. Anticipated. Oh, we almost got him. Well, what, what's your comment, Shaman? Oh, man, that's another one. So they start with two on already, no outs. I didn't know there was a baseball, Mario. There we go. 463 double play. They do have a runner on third now. We don't need to let him get two runs on us. And that's exactly what they're going to do. 2 0 Hollywood. Fiona Clark comes up the bat. We really need to uh, get some offense going. Okay, um, that's going to be a walk. Two on, two out now. Carlito Appleseed steps up. Single here, probably could score a run. 
How's that down the right side of the line? That could score a run. Yep, runner's coming home. Nope, again, again. Urgh. Three nothing all of a sudden. Eighty ego. If you do not make an out, they will run the system on you. Because it's like it's it's punishment. It's like, oh, here's your easy throw. You didn't get it. Okay, we're gonna score a bunch on you. Three nothing. We go to the fifth. Jason McMongoose, least expected. Sir Studs coming up. Now batting, the I can always tell how angry uh, I get at the game because I have to turn my ceiling fan up higher. through oh the goose jason mcmongoose gets a hit there our leadoff runner is on let's see if we can get something going least expected Number 23. there's another hit up the middle two on no out ah you're right shaman Sir Studs, he has a triple. A triple here would put two on the board. Oh, is that going to get through? It is. So the bases are loaded, but I think... Oh, it's Mr. Dependable. Come on, Zenus. Oh no! That's a double play! We'll get one run in. That's okay. 3 1 game. Got us a swing. And I can't hit with her. I was a. Wow! Wow! We got one on the board. It looks a little bit better. Henry Hamster, Ralph Blue, Ace of Word coming up. That was a terrible at bat for me. I don't know why I'm struggling with lethal so much. I know Luck of Duck. That was a good pitching. Ralph Blue steps up. What seed are they, Zero? That ball's ripped. Now nah, it's going to be extra bases. I feel like throws we made in 77 Ego you don't make. I feel like the higher the Ego, the more it, like, it reduces your stats. And that's probably their way to balance the game. Come on. There we go. Good pitch, Yusuf. Oh, hello, Carmine. Akai? Kaya? You have to let me know how I say that. I don't butcher it. Hope you're having a good day. Oh, that's popped up. Come on, Travis. Make this play. There we go. Good inning. Good inning. We got one. Didn't give up any. We go to the six. Z, Sky, and Travis do up. That is going to probably be caught... And foul territory. I'm doing okay. Doing okay today. Wishing I was playing a little bit better, but it is what it is. I'm not swinging at the ones down the middle, and then I go after the curved ones. Right. 
I need a lean in button. That's going to be a pop out to center field. All right, that was not a good batting. Rojas, Stewart, and Clark here. Akia. Oh, Carmine Akia. I can say that. You'll probably have to remind me every time, but you know. There's a nice little grounder to lethal at first. Two away. Yona Clark. There we go. Good defense. All right. Seventh inning. Let's go. 3 1 game. Mother Love, Jason McMongoose, least expected. We need to get Mother Love on base, but we can have some speed to maybe score. Oh, it's off the glove. Come on, Molo. Outrun this. Come on. Oh, McMongoose got a big part of that one. Did he get enough of it, though? It's going to be close. It is off the wall. And that's going to be a stand-up double with one out. The goose almost really got loose there. Now batting, the second baseman, number 23. Least expected steps up here now. And that goes opposite field. <clears throat> and now we'll move the runner to third. So runners on the corners. Sir Stud steps up. I need a replay. Yeah, well, you're not going to get that in this game. That's a double play. And we're not going to score a run because of it. Man, every time we go to the bottom of the seventh, still 3 1, Appleseed, Rocket, Hamster, the top of their order. I know, I'm awful at hitting when I need to. Or I just hit it to the wrong spot. I have a bad habit of hitting it right at filters. You know, like I can control that. In real life, I probably could, but not, not on this game very well. Let's strike him out. Nope, we'll take that too. Uh, is it Alabama zero? Please tell me it's Alabama. <laughs> nice dive, mother love. All right, eighth inning. We've definitely got to get something going here. It's the turn of our order. Zenus and Lethal need to get something going. There's a base hit. We'll take it. All right, leadoff runner's on, though. Zenus doesn't have a lot of speed, but it does get us back to our big hitters. Lethal, I've got to get Lethal going. Drop. That'll work. That'll do, pig. Two on, no out. Z coming up the bat. Now batting the center fielder, number 24. Oh, that is going to load the bases for Sky Rodriguez. No outs. Now batting the <sighs> Sky Rodriguez. All one. Do it out of sky. And that ball is hit really well. Did she get enough of it? It is gone! Put it on the board! Another grand slam for Sky Rodriguez, her second of the season. 
Her third home run's a big one, and it flips this game upside down. The Drakes take the lead as the bases are cleared. And that is the end of the day for Olaf Slokov. They pull him. Doc Simpleman coming in, the relief. 6-1-4 ERA, four strikeouts on the year in this 5-3 game here in the top of the eighth. And that's what the Drakes needed to get motivated. Yeah, that was a situational hit. That's exactly right. <laughs> Oh, that wasn't... I don't know about that one. Oh, we just missed that one. I'll be honest, when he threw the two balls, I was like, well, he's going to have to go down the strike zone a little bit. I didn't know he was going to go right down the middle. Oh, whoa! No, 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 no. That ball hit the dirt. Hmm. All right, Jason McMongoose, two singles and a double today. McMongoose is going to be four for four. My Lord, this has been his best DH performance in six seasons. Least expected here. Oh, they're worried about the goose. Two outs, runner on first. That's going to be caught. Yeah, Milo's not going to let that one get by. So we go to the bottom of the eighth. We may have to go to a reliever here. Blue, Word, and Stokes. Blue's been hitting good today because I know that Stark is getting tired. I may bring in Kira. We'll see. Oh, he's, he's, he's got some control issues. Yeah, I think I'm going to go straight to Kira Montez. Bring out Kira Montez. Hmm, that was scary, to be honest. Oh, catch that, somebody. Really? What? Oh, there's no way that's safe. Oh, my God. No, come on. I don't even want to. That is the biggest bull crap in the world. The biggest crap. Both of my infielders just don't go after it, but yet the computers will run all the way to the wall to catch the ball. That is just... Mmm. 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 Here's your Rocket League spam. It's wow. Oh my god. And now we're in a chance. This is bad. Good pitch. Juan Rojas. Oh my God, we got that call? Okay. Gotta trust in Kira. Oh my God, she's done it! The one, four, three double play. None of that mattered. We go to the ninth. Last chance to get security runs. Sir Studs, Zenus, Lethal, Cayman warming up in the bullpen. Posture, I'll straighten up as much as I can. I took my drink. Hey. 
and that's a hit to the gap for Sir Studs. And that's going to definitely be extra bases. It rose off the wall, and that is a leadoff double. I kicked the corner of my chair with my heel, and let me just tell you, it hurts right now. Nina switches over to the other side. Oh, we need we need a good hit here. One and one. Doc Simpleman trying to hold hold him back. Mm. Oh, and he held him back all right. It is off Doc Simpleman's face, and he's safe at first. So that's going to put runners at the corners, and the Goddess of Swing Lethal D Feline comes up. Oh my God. And that is the end of the day. Doc Simpleman's day is done. And they're bringing in harsh word. Oh my lord. I mean, the dude took it pretty well. He's only weak. He's not dead. So. Body contusion. Oh, go back, go back, go back. All right, Lethal, come on. That's popped straight up. That's not going to do it. I should have power hit and just try to bring in Sir Studs. Now batting the center fielder, number 24. Come on, Z. Oh, my God, that's going to bring in a run. Z, perfect hit down the line. 6-3 game. And Sky Rodriguez steps up. She had the grand salami earlier. One and one the sky. Hmm. I thought that was gonna drop. That's going to get caught. Get back. Ooh, okay. Travis the Unknown steps up. He's one for four today. Two runners on. Take ball one. Six three game. I waited way too long on that one. And there's going to be another run. It's going to be seven three. And I think we'll set Cayman down now because Kira Montez might as well stay in. It's not a safe situation for Cayman now. Molo, she got a big piece of that one. Did she get enough of it? It is gone! Put it on the board! A three-run shot for Mother Love. And that should pretty much seal the game. She hit it 420, blaze it. Her second dinger of the year, her 10th RBI, and it's 10 3 all of a sudden. Now batting the designated hitter, number three. Jason McMongoose. See if the goose could stay loose. Little chopper. Stewart going to handle that one. The Goose, he did his duty today, though. We go to the bottom of the ninth. Seven-run game all of a sudden. An eighth and ninth inning of the Drakes. Bottom of the turn of the order due up for the Herbisaurs. We'll see if Kira Montez can hold him here. Oh, no, game. No, 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 no. It's going to do it, isn't it? It's going to do it. It just dropped her morale back down. Oh! Kira Montez says, screw you, Ego80. And that's a good 1-4-3 one, uh, one, double play. So it all comes down to Carlito Appleseed now. And that's going to do it. Kira Montez shows who's boss. The Drakes win this one. They come from behind, down 3-0, score 10 unanswered. 
10 runs on 19 hits, no errors. Three runs on 12 hits for the Herbisaurs. A good day for the Drakes. Lethal Feline goes one for five. Z goes three for five with an RBI. Sky, the Grand Slam four run hit. Probably your player of the game. Travis goes two for five with an RBI. Molo, though, one for five with a three run shot. Jason McMongoose goes four for five. Everybody in our lineup got a hit today. Least expected two hits. Answer studs two or three. And Zenus two for four. Wow, that was one of our best hitting performances of the year. Yusuf Stark will get the win, improves the 2 0 this season. Give up 10 hits, 3 earned runs, 5 strikeouts, and 7 innings pitch. Kira Montez will pick up her first save. 2 innings, 2 hits, no earned runs, 1 strikeout. Olaf Slokoff takes his second loss of the year. 13 hits and 5 earned runs and 7 innings, most of those coming toward the end. Sky Rodriguez is your player of the game, followed by Molo, and then Sir Studs. Wow, Sir Studs sneaking up on the podium. Twenty eight games now. Let's see how much this shakes up. We are six and six, third in the division. Grapplers, that's like their fourth straight win. See if Jefferson City can snill one here from Jackson, and they do in 14. Wow. Jefferson City back up to the top of the Chamberlain. San Juan demolishes the wide loads. Global Cyclones, oh, they were getting blank there for a while. The B Wolves, 8 5 win. New York Nemesis, oh, the Buffalo Berserkers. And they hold on. They are. 10-6 win. New York drops back to 500. Buzzards, big win for them. They're half game back of the Windsor Monarchy. Miramar. Rebounds after us. Kyoto Blowfish. The Bowman. Oh, the Bowman come back and they lose it in extra innings. That would have helped us out tremendously there. But we stay a game and a half back. Manitoba. Canadian teams playing well this season. Tampico. Demolishes Texarkana. Texarkana struggling this year. Four and eight. Savannah and Cancun. We need Cancun to drop this one, but Savannah's not going to do that. Not helping us out at all. Wichita Wild Pigs and the Monarchy. Wichita gets them. Helps out the Birmingham Buzzard. Dirt Dogs get a win. The Dirt Dogs back on top of their division. Hampton Hares. Going to lose another one, and that's the fifth straight win for the Nassau Grapplers. Barbados wins. Nine wins for them. Miramar. Ooh, Hollywood comes back and thumps them. Jefferson City, a big win here, maybe? No, they lose it in extras. Hiroshima moving up, trying to get back to 500. Tampico, another big win there. Tampico moving up the board. San Juan, they're above 500 now. Bellevue loses one to Buffalo. Buffalo jumps us. We are now fourth place, two games back. Florida Crocodons win. They're tied with Darlington for the Jeb Stewart division. Wild Pigs get a win. Everything's starting to tighten up. Manitoba, their ninth win of the season. Cancun gets another win. They are now putting us two and a half games back. Cancun, all the trades they made in the offseason paying off now. Kyoto, another win. Again, that puts us farther back. Monarchy, nine wins for them. Most of your leaders have nine wins. The hot corner is a Reno. Big win over Hollywood, though, and that's where your board stands. So Barbados, two games up. Nassau, three games up now. Manitoba, two games up. Cancun, a game up over Kyoto. And uh, the rest of us are just looking up the board. Darlington and Florida, a game ahead of Wyoming. That's a really tight division there. And then Windsor Monarchy and Birmingham battling it out. Uh, yeah, why not, Luck a Duck? Are you judging me on my Canadian teams?
Where in Manitoba does Manitoba... You know what? Maybe not in Winnipeg. I'm sure there's other cities. Let me, let me look. Manitoba cities. List of cities. Um, okay, here's based on population. Winnipeg has seven... They could play in Winkler. There's 12,000 people there. Uh, Dolphin, 8,000 people there. The Selkirk, there's 10,000. Oh, Brandon. Brandon has 48,000 people. So I'm sure Winnipeg plays in Winnipeg and Manitoba plays in Brandon. Brandon is the second largest city in the province of Manitoba, southwest corner, on the banks of the Assiniboine River. There you go. And it's on the border of Saskatchewan, so they can represent two areas. So. All right, let's see. Oh, we got grooming for J2. $1.4 million. Plus fielding to him. He loses velocity, but he would gain maybe up to 16 junk. That's a lot of money. Again, it's another pitcher. So now we have five pitcher opportunities. This this is kind of broken in the game a little bit. Is right now we have five pitcher opportunities and only one fielding. You know, one and it, it's one of our backups. So the crappy thing about this is if you look at your team, you obviously have a lot more fielding players. Over half of my pitchers are up for making them better but yet that doesn't even distribute out evenly I mean I, I don't know hey the Bears gifting a sub thank you so much for that get to see a little Scott Hall action hey yo thank you so much for that Bears let's throw some hypes in chat Huh. So yeah, I, I I mean I would love to have Sky up here for fielding and things. I really hope that they I don't know if they'll tinkler this anymore. I'd say they're about done with Super Mega Baseball three, but um, if they ever make another one, I hope that you had the, the I hope they understand how much people like franchise and developing your team, and uh, and that you actually have a little bit more leeway. Like I said, I would love after. The season, you get to pick a couple of players and you pick which stats on them you want to make better. All right. Looks like we got the Jefferson City Jurassics coming up. I know that a number of uh, people are on that team. Five players. We got Pyro down here. She's center field. She was the home run queen one year. Stanford Stardor. Steven Magpie's on this team. Chaz Bigman's on this team. And one of their starting pitchers is Doc Murrow. But we probably won't see him, obviously, because Brendan Salgado. Uh, I doubt there's a mod for it. The community is pretty vocal in the subreddit. And I know that they, they show up for certain streams. I've seen them in... Uh, I know they've been in Mike's stream before. They've been in here before. Though I'm very vocal, I, I, I'm sure that I say things they don't like to hear, but I love the game. I'm just abusive toward it sometimes, so I'm sure that's not been again. Brutus, I know they've been in his stream. He talks to them an awful lot. So they're very active at listening to people, but again, I could just be the only person who likes certain things. So. All right. Let me take a real quick like minute break. I got to run downstairs real quick and get some ice for my water and I'll be right back.
All right, I've made it back. Sorry about that. I was very parched. All right, so this is an interesting game we've got coming down the pipe. Jefferson City is my weakness. They are extreme power hitters. Um, their pitcher is their ace, Brendan Salgado. He is 1-0 with a 1-1-7 ERA. We also have our ace, Captain Pete, up on the mound, but he is struggling a little bit this year. 1-2 and two with a 5-2-1. It seems like whenever Pete gets up there to pitch, we just don't have the ability to give him run support. We are hitting pretty well right now. We'll see if we can do that this game. Uh, looks like Stacy Sevens is ready to come back into the fold. We'll put her back on second. Um, I'm going to replace her with Lethal because Lethal is struggling. I do like having Z and Sky as second and third batting, though. Um, there we go. That's a pretty... That's a big... We're gonna let Sir Studs finally rest the rest of the way. So Stacy Sevens leading off. Z's locked in. Sky. Go with this. Captain Pete. And then we've got Rise of Paper's good to go. Marxo's good. Yeah. All right, here we go. Home game. Jefferson City coming in to take us on. Uh, I'll. Rick Pitino will be back with Iona next year. I'm sure he's going to build a powerhouse team after a lot of those kids see what he can do with what he has now. That's usually how it works. And he knows how to coach. All right, here we go. Prowlett Drummond, Pyro Pickman, and Dom Franco. Captain Pete taking the mound. See if he can uh, show his true side. I do love the blue color on... The Jurassic's uniforms. Good pitch by Pete there to start out. That one was a little crazy. Little chopper, but it goes foul. Let's see if we can get her here. What do we throw? A little low, slow. Get her, Pete. High heat. Yes! There we go. See if we get Pete on a row. Here is Pyro Pickman. Go slow on her. No, she got a piece of that. Oh, she got a piece of the high heat. How about the low heat? Nope, not going to get that one. Uh, he was just getting some uh, pine tar to put on it, bears. Lost, th lost that one. Well, that's a little chopper. Stacy Sevens back on the field. She'll make the play. A good one, two, three inning for Pete. Two strikeouts. We'll go to the bottom of the first. Stacy Sevens says striker and Sky Rod Riggers. Uh, no, it's not cheating. It's all part of the Super Mega Baseball Franchise League. There's a lot of things that are allowed here that's not allowed in Major League Baseball. Scratching your butt and adjusting yourself is one of them. AC Sevens. And that is popped straight up. I knew I should have raised my, my reticle and I didn't. Hey, that one pitcher for what, Oregon, got called out for that the other day? They thought he was cheating. Oh my God, Z blasts that one, but it's got, it's a frozen rope. He's gonna get a couple bases. Pyro's gonna field that and throw it in. 
And that is a stand-up double with one out here in the bottom of the first. That was a line drive if there ever was one. And Sky Rodriguez connects on that one. It's heading. It is gone. Put it on the board. A two-run shot early in this game. 427 feet, her fourth home run of the year. And thicker than oatmeal, Sky Bay has put him on the board indeed. Caught that inside pitch, sent it opposite field. That was all she wrote. That will bring up Mother Love. Olo goes down for that one. A little too much air on that one. Clementine Rasmussen with the catch. That will bring Travis the Unknown up. Oh, I should have went after that one. This dude's curveballs hang so much. Ah, I went down for that one, though. That should be out number three unless they drop it. Dom Franco is not going to do that. So a two-run shot by Sky makes it 2 nothing. Captain Pete has some run support. Steven Magpie, that's a viewer. Sidney Hodges and Chaz Bigman, another viewer, do up. <clears throat> I can always tell when spring is here as my allergies try to suffocate me. Bad pitch. Luckily, he didn't get that. Mm. Mm. Get him on the curve. Well, that's ground ball. Stacy Sevens is there. Perfect throw. Now batting the third baseman, number 20. Oh, if you're talking about allergies, yes. Oh, there's a big hit. There goes Pete's no-hitter. Chaz Bigman steps up here. Popped up. That should be catchable. Z's on the run for it. And we'll make the catch. Two away. I usually get them right now fall and then right in the dead of winter is when mine really get me Good pitch pete oh another great pitch let's get him low slow get him get him yes steven star or uh, not steve it's not his name it's not steven star door it's uh stanford star door Another viewer struck out there. So 2 nothing. we go to the second. Least expected lethal D feline at Zenus due up. Least expected. 327 average, 4 RBIs, no home runs. Delgado. That went over the plate. Oh, that was a good pitch, and I just sat there and watched it. 0-2, pitcher's pitch here. And he'll get him. I had to bring up the goddess of swing. There's a hard hit ball, and she's going to miss it. Oh, a terrible fielding play. How would she get Rasmussen struggles with it, and that's going to allow Lethal to go into third, a triple with one out here. Lucky Duck, thanks for stopping by. You have a great evening. We need a base hit here to bring in Lethal. And that didn't do it. Let's see if Captain Pete can help his own cause. He has hit a home run before. Need a base hit. And that's going to do it. Captain Pete's going to knock in a run here. 
And it looks like he's going to get a double as Pyro Pickman picks that up and throws it in. And RBI double makes it 3 nothing Drake's here in the bottom of the second. So here we go again. Stacy Sevens back up with two outs. Delgado having some troubles on the mound. And that's a base hit up the middle. And Pete's going to try to outgo. He's in there. Oh, my God. Captain Pete takes home, and it is 4 nothing. He is indeed making his own run support. Oh, and that's right back. So 4 nothing now as we go to the third. Clementine Rasmussen, Brendan Salgado, and Prowlett Drummond do up. I like the red color they have in their jersey too. Now, I don't know if I would ever mix those two, but I do like that dark red. Oh, Clementine Rasmussen just ripped that one. And that's probably going to put her on second. So the Jefferson City Jurassic's aren't laying down. Now batting the pitcher, number 34. The pitcher has not got his first hit of the year, which means he probably will here. He did the proper thing of moving the runner to the third, so he's trying to get. The second baseman, number 29. We got red stripes too, and yellow stripes. All right, Pete. Keep him off the board. Oh, and that's not going to do it. He gets right by him. And that's a base hit in an RBI. So 4-1 game. The Jurassics get on there, and that brings up Pyro Pickman. Number five. Go high slow. Got her. That confused. Dom Franco. Hmm. I lost that one. Lost that one too. That should do it for the inning. Or the top of half of the inning, my bad. Alright, they get one back. That's alright. We got Sky Rodriguez, Mother Love, and Travis the Unknown here in the bottom of the third. Let's see if Sky can keep the uh, streak alive here. Oh my God, she got a hold of that one. It's close. It is gone. Her second home run of the game. Sky Rodriguez lines that one out. 366. Her fifth home run of the season. 15 RBI. My God. That like knocked the glove off the fielder. That'll bring up Mother Love. I was going to come down the middle. Nope. Ball outside. Ooh, Molo got a hold of that one. That one may not make it. It's going to be close. It is. It's gone. Put it on the board. Oh, oh my God. Back to back jacks for the Drakes. Molo's third home run of the season. And it is 6 1. And oh my God, Rand Gaming gifting two subs. Oh my God, I got to call timeout as Travis the Unknown comes up. Thank you so much for that. Good Lord. Hypes in the chat all around. The back to back jacks have made it 6 to 1. And if Sky Rodriguez was on steroids, she'd be way too thick. She is just the right amount of thickness. We'll take it. Thank you so much for all that. Now we got to calm down and let Travis bat here. Salgado having a rough day. Gets that one over the strike zone. Ooh, that was a good high one. 
All right, Travis, calm down. No, inside. Ooh, he got me on the high one. Chased it. I did too. I wanted three in a row. Travis would have been our only hope. All of a sudden, Salgado throwing heat. There's a nice hit. Rasmussen cut that off, so a one out single. Now remember, everybody, we got to calm down. This is 80 Ego, so rubber banding is a possibility. The goddess of swing steps up, takes ball one. Same pitch gets a strike that time somehow. Oh, she almost went opposite field on that one. That's fouled off to make it one and two with one out. Runner on first. You know, I moved the runner because that would have probably been a double play, so I'm not going to be mad. All right, Mr. Dependable Zenus Islon steps up. A hit here could score a run. Oh, it's a blue pit if it gets over, and it does, and that's exactly what Mr. Dependable does. 7-1 Drakes. And that will cycle us back around to Captain Pete. I'm going to let him swing for power. Oh my God, he blasted that one and that's another base hit for Pete. No, he's gonna get thrown out. Oh, so embarrassing. Oh, so embarrassing. We go to the fourth inning. 7-1 game. Steven Magpie, Sidney Hodges, and Chaz Bigman do up for the Jefferson City Jurassics. Four, poor Pete. He's brought great shame upon his family. See, Molo, great throw, great defense. Now batting, the third baseman, I mean, he had a good solid contact on the ball. I'd say they were playing up. I didn't even look. So Pete has his run support. Let's see if he can hold it. Oh, that ball's hit up high. That's got a chance. That is gone. A solo shot. And it's going to be 7-2 to two all of a sudden. Sydney Hodges, her third of the season. Now batting the shortstop. Chaz Bigman, viewer player, 208 average, one home run. Pete has been giving up home runs this year. Now he is six years older than he was when we started. Those things happen. Line drive or grounder to lethal. She'll step on the bag, two outs. Better damage on that ball than a warlock does. Well, you know what? I only have to hit one button in this game, not four. So. Bad curve. He didn't go for it. Or he didn't go for it. Come on, Pete. Low, slow. Oh, it's a grounder. Sky Rodriguez. She's going to have to run for this one. Throw in time. Good inning. We go to the bottom of the fourth, still 7-2. Top of the order due up for the Atlantic Drakes. Stacy Seven, Z Striker, Sky Rodriguez. Salgado still in there after giving up seven on nine hits. Kind of shocked by that. I think the computer usually tries to get five innings out of them. Four at least. Hmm, one and two. Good hit there by seven, just a little too much on it. Pyro's going to collect that one in center field, one away. All right, Z. You did a good first at bat. Your last at bat was pretty lackluster. Let's see something here. Oh, is he going to do the same thing? I think that's going to get caught. Yeah, Franco got that one. Had to bring up Sky Rodriguez, two for two today. Both of those home runs. Let's see what she can do here. I should have swung at that one. 97 power and she hit it straight up. 
Oh, she dropped it! Pyro Pikmin dropped it! That's a triple! Now batting, the shortstop. It was... <laughs> okay, hold on. I have not... What is that? Is that just an error? Did they score it an error? I didn't see the error thing pop up. I can't see the uh, box score, so... Let's see if Molo can knock her in here. Maybe Molo can get her second home run. We'll see it between innings. We'll count the Molo. Broken bat. The oldest trick in the book by the game. Oh, it is an error. Rasmussen, Salgado, there's no way they leave him in. And Drummond do up. Now batting the left fielder, number seven. So ground ball right to lethal. She'll step on the bag, one away. Let's see, they're going to keep him in. They are. He'll probably get a hit. I swear the computer gets a boost to their pitcher hitters. As Pete can blow him away with the high heat. Oh, least expected. There we go. Two away. Browlett Drummond steps up. It's trouble time. Hey! Batter, batter. Sir James, thank you so much for the 33 months. My lord, hype's in the chat. And that's right, at Sky Rodriguez. She'll catch that one for out number three, and it will retire the side. Thank you so much for that, Sir James. 33 months. Almost a three years. Good lord. Thank you so much for your support, my friend. Thank you. Travis the Unknown, least expected lethal D feline. Coming up the bat here. Little hay batter batter action. Travis is 0 for 2 today, which is a rarity for him. I do know what I'm doing for the year four video. I've just, I got the stuff in. I've just got to record it. I actually got to get some body paint. Hard hit ball, but right at Drummond. And she'll throw that the first. Not to paint my whole body. There's just certain things. Had the chicken on Joe Biden's advisor. That's right. The third episode of Joe Biden was up today. It's getting really interesting. His least expected comes to the plate. That's another ball right to Drummond. Drummond's just going to shut us down this inning. Got to bring up Lethal D. Remember, if you're new in chat and you want to be on my Discord, exclamation point Discord will give you the link to join up. Love to have you in there, talk to you. You can uh, make fun of us in sports and all that good stuff. That's out off, may stay in. There's a chance, maybe, no, it's out. No, but Braveheart would be a good one. Oh man, that, that sunk so much on the changeup. Good pitch. Now, Sir James, did I not stream the original Rogue State once upon a time ago? Is that the is that the second one to that one? The center fielder, number five. Okay, I might have to look into that one. I just got another game though that I'm really excited about playing and doing a series on. I actually postponed a series I was going to start for this game. So, come on, Pete, get her. Yes, good pitch. Now back, the right I'm Franco. Number 14. No, that's low. Uh oh, that ball is not coming back. Oh, least expected fair effort, but just not going to bring it back in. Dom Franco launches that one. 384 feet. 
his fourth of the year, and that's going to make the score a little bit closer, 7-3. He pulled that fastball and took it out of here. Pete's been pitching an okay game. He just... Little mistakes here and there. Ground ball. Lethal gets that one. She's going to run it out herself. Two away. Had to bring up Sydney Hodges. She launched one earlier. Barely got over the fence. Wow, I can't even get it over the strike zone with her. Well, I got it over that one, and she said, Good God, that come out of there like a cannon. Chaz Bigman. That's a bad pitch. I didn't. I, luck, I got lucky. Let's see if we can get her to chase. I didn't mean to throw it that far out, but there we go. High heat. All right, so Pete's giving up three on six hits. Zenas, Pete, and Stacy Sevens. I'm not going to take him out yet. He's still pitching decent. Zenas is batting 303, one for two today. And finally, they take out Selgado. They're bringing in Wash Mercado. He is locked in. 397 ERA, seven strikeouts. Oh, it's a double switch. Chaz Bigman's day is done. They're really trading in a lot of fielding at shortstop. That's a big gamble. Good arm, but bad fielding. I don't know if that was a strike. That was. One, two. Come on, Zenus. Man, I cannot get the bat down. I don't know what's going on. Captain Pete steps up here. A double. RBI. God, his curveball is crazy. That's just popped straight up. Bringing that left-handed junk pitcher. No joke. Stacy Seven steps up here. Ball inside. Good hit, but that's going to be a quick inning for us. That'll take us to the seventh inning. Seven three. Stanford Stardor, Clementine Rasmussen, and Armani Stanford are up. So it's the bottom half of their order. I'm I'm wondering where their pitcher got shuffled in at. I'm curious about that. If that's going to affect them a little much. Pete may have one good inning left in him. Uh, now that I've said that, this may not be true. Caught that one at the warning track is Z. Nicely done. Clementine Rasmussen steps up. Pete scratched his butt, which will forever now be known as the Bears. Oh, that's a bad curveball. She didn't go for it. She did not go for it at all. Let's get her some low slow. She didn't go for that either. After the high heat. Going back to the low slow. Oh, no. She went for it. She stretched. Luckily, Molo is there to back it up two away. That's right back to Pete. Wow, Pete may have one more inning after him after all. We go to the bottom of the seventh. Everybody do your seventh inning calisthenics. Meaty part of our lineup do up. Z, Sky, and Molo. Well, I'm, I'm glad I'm here for you, Bears. Hey, don't worry. There, I could have given you an air play. Man, Trevor Bauer is hated in this area now. All the Reds fans are like despised. All right, Z, come on. That's a gapper right there. Z is flying down the baseline. This is going to be at least a double. Iro throws it in. He's going for three. This is going to be close. And that is a triple for Z Striker. 
All right, Sky. Let's see if you can bring in a run here. She loves lefties. Oh, it's it's gonna bring in a run. That was a perfect RBI hit. That sack fly there. I wish it would have went about another 25 feet, but you know. All right, Molo. Oh man, I just didn't have the power behind that one. That's unfortunate. Travis having a rough day. I might sub him. I don't know. It depends if his mojo drops. Oh, he almost got hit. Yeah, we had a certain pitcher who did that all season long. Just couldn't catch the flips. Come on, Travis. There we go. Good hit. Least expected. One for three today. Good swing. I just missed it. I shouldn't have moved the... Uh, I shouldn't have moved anything. Maybe Pyro would drop another one. Nope. Oh, man, I didn't notice her fielding was so bad out there in center. No wonder she dropped that one. <laughs> Drummond, Pikmin, Bronco do up. We go to the eighth. It's a five-run game. Let's try to keep them at bay here. That's a terrible pitch. Almost took her face off. Nicholas Cage, John Travolta style. That's a bad... All right, Pete, you've got to hit the strike zone, my friend. Oh, Sky's not going to make that play. Pyro Pikmin is rattled. No wonder she dropped everything. Oh, Pete, make that play. Oh, we got one of them. We couldn't turn two. That's all right, though. Dom Franco steps up. Homer is last at bat. Oh, but Sky catches that one? Oh, my Lord. What a catch at the hot corner. Woo. And that one was a little bit easier, but that was the Sky Rodriguez defensive show. We go to the bottom of the eighth. It's still 8-3. Lethal D, Feline, Zenus, and Captain Pete do up here at the end. I may just leave Pete in. Lethal D. Tense, but working on that triple. That's outside. Two and one. Uh oh, that ball is jacked. Did the goddess of swing put it on the board? She did. A solo shot to start off the eighth inning here. And that one is definitely gone. 455 feet. Her first of the season, sixth RBI. That's what we wanted from her. That will bring up Zenus. Mr. Dependable. He's been banged up a little bit behind the plate this year playing catcher. I don't know what's... That's... Ooh, that's... That ball just died in the air. Pyro catches that one. Gotta bring up Captain Pete. Definitely got his run insurance today. The, the, the cruise ship is where we sleep. That's our dorms. Oh, and Pete, did he hit the gap? Oh, they were playing up. No, Clementine Res Rasmussen's going to get to it. You know what? I'm going to swing with power with uh, Stacy Sevens here. I never swing with power for her, so. Oh, and it's a base hit. She hit it straight down at the ground, but, you know. Hey, Eccentric, how are you doing today? Hope you're having a good one. Good weekend. 
And that's going to be the end of the day for Wash Mercado. Banged up a little bit. Thomas Jock coming in. Nine strikeouts, 9.75 ERA. No junk on him. He's tense. AC Sevens takes off. That is a steal. Oh my God, I thought that he killed her. Stacy Sevens is going to try to get home, and that's not even contested. 10 3. Oh, it must be. Oh, it's Sunday there, isn't it? Yeah, it it's, it's almost dinner time here. Let's see if Sky Rodriguez can hit three home runs today. He's not bringing them down in the strike zone. That's hit hard. So no three home runs, but that's been a heck of a day for her batting-wise. Well, I mean, it only can be like, what, 12, 30, 1 a.m. in the morning in Europe? Maybe a little later? Two outs, Molo up here. That's outside. One and one count. Oh, she missed that one. Runners go, but it's hit right to Stanford Star Door at first, and that is out number three. We'll go to the ninth inning. Jurassics have Hodges, Jock, and Star Door do up. Jock will probably be pinch hit for. Let's see if they can get something going. I was going to say, I think it's like, yeah, it's like six hours, six, seven hours in Europe. From when I remember going there in college, but... I'd like to go back someday. I don't think now's the time. Oh, the AU stands for Australia, not Austria. My bad. I confused myself. Now batting, the pitcher, number 47. Me with my German background. Marsha Brown. Marsha Brown. They're putting a rattled hitter in. Pete? We got the bullpen going just in case. Ball outside. Nope. Inside. Hmm. Go so two on now, no outs all of a sudden. Now batting the first baseman, number 64. Heat may be done. This is probably stupid pitching the Stanford Star Door. Yep. That's going to score two. Pete's day is definitely done. 5 10. All right. Let's bring in. Uh, we'll bring in Cayman just to keep him loose. If the computer comes back and beats us on this one, I'll, I'll cry. Get one. They're going to move that other runner to third, though. We may have to sacrifice a run just to get the uh, batters out. Yeah, they're going to... Cayman, what are you doing? Oh, that was too close. Come on up. Come on, came and get her. Oh, that's going to get by. So all of a sudden, we forgot how to play defense. Here's Pyro, rattled. And that's right, the lethal. Thank the heavens. That game was a little topsy-turvy. I, I should have just took Pete out at the first of that inning. He was done, and I tried to stretch it. So we give up those three. They didn't matter, but if the game would have been closer, I wouldn't have chanced it. So the Atlantic Drakes win here at home 10-6.
15 hits, 10 runs. 11 hits, 6 runs for the Jurassics. They did have that one error. Probably the Pyro drop. Pyro goes 0 for 5 today with 3 strikeouts. Rough day for her. Steven, or Stanford, yeah, Steven Magpie goes 0 for 4. Chaz Bigman goes 0 for 3. Stanford Stardor goes 1 for 4. Did have 2 RBIs, so out of all the viewer players, he's the... Uh, the best one. Looks like everybody in our lineup had hits, except Cayman, which he didn't get the bat. Sevens goes two for five with an RBI. Z goes three for five with an RBI. Sky, three for four, two home runs, four RBIs. Molo, one for five, home run, RBI. Travis Unknown goes one for four, hit by least expected. Lethal, two for four, home run, RBI. Zenus, one for four, an RBI. Captain Pete, one for four, and an RBI. Sky has three hits. I think that one counted as a triple. Delgado will take the loss. Seven earned runs, nine hits, and five innings pitched. Drops the one and one on the season. Captain Pete picks up the win. Will even up his record at two and two. Pitched eight innings, ten hits, six earned runs, six strikeouts. Cayman comes in, one inning of work, one hit. Guy Rodriguez, three for four, your player of the game, or two home runs, Sidney Hodges, and then Z Striker. Ah, so it didn't count. Okay. Oh, we got the Birmingham Buzzard coming up. Wow, Tijuana just demolished Savannah. Hey, Hampton Hares trying to win a game. And they do. SKS cashes in a run. I won that game for them. I just want you all to know that. Yodo. We are third place, but two games back. San Juan keeps winning. Bowman looking for a win. Oh, they beat Nassau. Wow, that's shocking. Nassau's been playing well. So is Florida. Florida wins. They take over the Jeb Stewart division. Dirt Dogs take a win. Buffalo, Cancun. Cancun gets the win. Bottom dwellers here. Not a lot of change. The first two teams to 10 wins is the Cancun Cruisers and the Barbados Bards. That warm weather helping them out. Arlington, Windsor at nine. Nassau, Manitoba with nine wins. Yeah, so the next game is against the Birmingham Buzzard, and we have Dick Real King is on that team. Johnny Morlock is a pitcher. Zeros McBirthday is first baseman. And then a Noni. I didn't realize that that many. A Noni used to be a Drake, and he's on that team. I don't know. Hold on. Let's see the activity around the league. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Uh, we can check right here. Zero starts first. Anoni is the catcher. Yeah, you're on the bench. You played in eight games out of 13, though. And you've almost had as many bats as the starters. So it's kind of weird. I don't know. You must go back and forth. But, I mean, you have Dick Berger on your team. I mean, you know, it's kind of hard to compete with that. What's his card look like? Yeah, that's what I expected. And none of these are even expiring. They're all zero. Ridiculous. 
All right, I'm gonna go get something to drink. We'll play at least one more game. I think we'll play this Birmingham Buzzard game, and then uh, I'll decide what I'm gonna do after that. But I shall return. And great thanks to the March Patreon, Zachary McKinley, Nicholas Abser, Azure Rain, James Matisse, The Least Expected, Party Commissar.